You've seen Skull Cavern deep dives, but have you seen Volcano deep dives? Recently, Easy Lily, I hope that's how you say the name, I'm sorry, has discovered a way to get the Volcano Dungeon to keep going on and on and on forever. And as you get deeper, the floors get harder to traverse with more enemies and more rocks. And she has issued a challenge to get as far down into it in one day as you possibly can. So here I am in my hot girl summer outfit, and I have a loadout here. No one else to my knowledge has done the run yet, and Easy Lily also hasn't shown her loadout, so... It's a bit cobbled together and it's probably not ideal, but this is what we got. So first off, obviously the Iridium Pickaxe is powerful. Powerful allows you to break the stones in the Volcano Dungeon in one hit, and since I'm using animation cancelling, I won't need Swift anyway. Infinity Gavel with a triple ruby enchantment to increase the damage as much as I can, along with an artful enchantment to be able to use the special ability because I'm going to be using, you know, Master Slingshot with explosive ammo, self-explanatory. And then we have the Watering Can. It's the regular Watering Can with Bottomless because the regular Watering Can is the only one that works very well with animation cancelling, otherwise you risk accidentally accidentally charging it too much, which is much slower. For rings, I have a Iridium Band and Ruby Ring, of course. Down here, I have an Immunity Ring, which gives you 4 plus immunity, and the Savage Ring, which will increase your speed every time you knock out an enemy. I also have the Cinder Clown Shoes to give me even more immunity. One of the most annoying things about the Volcano Dungeon is that there are both Slimes and Magma Sprites, both of which, if they inflict their status on you, can slow you down. So, as much immunity as we can get, because we will be taking hits. I have Key Seasoned Triple Shot Espresso, which does not improve the speed bonus, but does make it last longer. And then, of course, Magic Rock Candy. The increased luck should decrease the amount of enemies there are a slight bit, which honestly I want. Increased attack, of course, is great, and the increased speed is great as well. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot key season mag magic rock candy because it's not a craftable cooking item. And that's it. These two here are just in case I need to make some changes to the forge. This is attempt number four I've done. I did three practice runs, so we're going to see how it goes. All right, on the day of, I'm immediately pausing. As you can see, it's 6 a.m. there. I'm going to put in the console command, which is debug volcano 10, and that. All right, immediately on exiting my inventory, I'm going to drink my food buffs. This doesn't look like a terrible floor. I am, of course, using animation canceling. The immunity band seems to be doing work so far. Where's the exit? Oh no, there it is. For the first few floors, I'm kind of just going to be holding onto my gavel most of the time because there's not enough rocks to really worry about. These have actually been really good starting floors so far. Get you. I'm just going to use the watering can here. Probably a little faster than going all the way around. Actually, it probably wouldn't have been, but that's fine. There we go. Fortunately, it doesn't multiply your speed buff. Oh, beautiful. That's what you want to see on every single floor. That right there. Uh, these floors are good as long as they don't have buttons. No buttons yet, I don't think. Okay, 420 at 940. All right. We take that. I learned animation canceling for this, by the way. So if it's rough, please don't bully me. Can't. You know what I'm going to go ahead and do while we have a little bit of downtime right here? Drink that espresso. If I remember correctly, if you drink it at the right time, it only really needs to be refilled once. This is the one. This is going to by far beat out all my other runs. Now I'm sweating. My hands are so sweaty and it's only 9.40 p.m. Oh, perfect day. This is on my like regular farm, by the way. So it's not like I like, I don't know, looked up a farm for an easy seed. Not that I think that a list like that would even exist at this point. And you know what? I needed to learn how to do animation cancels eventually. So this was a good push to do it. 27, this is an incredibly empty floor. I love getting the uh, exploding enemies, whatever they're called. Uh, this room again, I need to remember, it's always over to the right, or the left. Alright, at about this time I'm usually hitting like floor 22 on the other runs, so I think this is a really good pace. There it is. This would be the worst possible floor to have buttons on. Very glad that didn't happen there. Yeah, you really need to, like, stretch, stretch your attack buff as far as you can, because if you don't, you just do not get any kills. It's always weird when the uh, air effect wears off. 
you know how like when you're in the dungeons sometimes and you hear like the wind rushing around it's always so bare and quiet by the way i am assuming that we're allowed to do like animation canceling i mean like she didn't make any rules but i just like thought of what would be the most fun also that's my first immunity failure right there you can see how much of an impact just like that debuff gives, which is the uh, fire debuff. If I get slimed, that's like three times as worse. Ugh. I always like instinctively go to the left here when I think actually meant to go to the right. Yeah, definitely meant to go to the right. That's gonna hurt. Oh well. Please, no buttons. It. Hmm. We haven't encountered, encountered buttons at all yet, have we? This feels like cheating, but that's the nature of it, I think. You find the seed with no buttons and you get going. To be fair, this is my third run of the recording, which, you know, I'm not going to hide that from you. Uh, I did have some pretty big stinkers before. Cool, let me just hammer these rocks. Which, you know what, would make sense in any other game. Eh, I hate that. Got him. There we go. <sighs> buttons. The only one, please. Oh my god. Might as well have not been buttons. Now I definitely feel like I'm cheating. Wait, where where am I going? Oh, is this the one where the... Yeah, the door's below. Ugh. That was probably seeable from uh, on screen. Sorry, I'm keeping my eyes like in front of me. Ugh, debuff. Hate it. Like I said, the rocks get more punishing as time goes on. Oh god. I see one button over there. Before I go way out of me, my way, me, 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 let's me. miss this swing 50 times. Nope. There it is. Oh my god. And that might not even be it. It is. Okay. Oh, please be over here on the left. It is. God bless. That would have been a hefty time loss if it wasn't. I'm awful at it. Oh my god. Buttons? Now? Okay, there's one. Only button. God bless. Oh, that's not when I wanted to have the debuff. Maybe we can get this floor as well. Actually. Yeah, it's too big. Oh no, we can- mm, That sucks. Oh well, 56. Sure, I'll take that. That's pretty hefty. Alright, well. Thank you for watching. I guess try it if you want, I suppose. Hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.